I will put my route and maps on so you can see it but it is a great walk and lots of fun with a sad tinge but still good walking to the crash site of a World War II disaster, an aeroplane crash. At the end of this is where we're going to the crash site so please come along with me and hopefully you'll enjoy it and we'll all learn something in the process. <music> so I start my walk on what's known as the Drove which is an ancient track dating back probably over a thousand years to move livestock from White Cheat Hill down to the lower valleys and that's what it was used for so an incredible way to actually get to a very sad site but still great to go <laughs> Well, you can see the clump up behind me here if I just move to one side you can see the clump just there and that's the Beach Hill clump that we're headed to you can see it's a lovely area and just entering the cops now to have a look around but uh, I don't think things from a, a point of view of going and looking at places get much better than this and uh, I hope that when you see these videos and things I do you'll think aha I'll go along to there and see what James was on about it's always worth having a look <laughs> So on the 19th of February 1945 the plane came flying in along this exact route behind me here uh, that I've established by using a compass and its left wing struck the trees enormous crash and the plane carried on through the tree line and ended up as wreckage up to 300 yards on so sad but one of the many things of the time but nice that I can walk an ancient trail and come to this area uh, which is not not really typical we haven't got a lot of air crash sites around here and I think it's at the time now where we can remember people more and it's not quite as sore the uh, memory of it so that's why I've come today well here is the crash site memorial the plane came in from the northeast and the pilot was the only one to survive. The crash happened and it chucked wreckage for over 300 yards. So quite a considerable distance, nearly a quarter of a mile. So when you bear that in mind, it was a horrific crash. These poor guys coming back from training thought, you know, they'd be going up to Leicester and perhaps a bit of leave and then this happens. So very, very sad indeed. The memorial was put here in 1990, so much later than the actual time of the crash. pilot who survived was a hero in World War II flying planes up until this point but then the sad part of it is is he was the only one to survive 
and he never really came to terms with it. Later on went working for the Foreign Service and unfortunately, very sadly, committed suicide in Kenya on one of his trips out there. So absolutely sad, the whole thing tainted with sadness. So this wonderful memorial here remembers the 20 guys. But don't forget there was 21 and one poor man who obviously couldn't live with his actions after. Just a simple mistake. They put an investigation in about the air crash, which was in May of that year, 1945. And the investigation concluded that it was pilot error. But we can all make mistakes. So bear that in mind. So now stood by one of the beech trees, which would have been here at the time, I'm sure, because they lived like 150 odd years. So these trees would have been here when the disaster happened. Incredible to think that this is part of our living history. And we're here today remembering the sad souls that perish. But just incredible that we can still come to these places and still see this. Well, I think I'm going to head my way on back now, back along the ancient droveway and uh, finish my walk. But I just thought you'd all like to see it and remember. I'll put some information up about the actual tragedy itself. But it's just nice to come here uh, and wonderful to see these places, as I probably said earlier, but nonetheless. Uh, and so I'm going to walk on now and head my way on back.